And I seen the potential in this team, man. And uh, even though it was a group of guys that uh, came together from a lot of different places and uh, a lot of guys in different points in their career, we worked so hard through training camp. We competed against every team we could win against in the preseason. And I just knew how hard we worked. You know, the expectations that Coach had for us, the expectations that Terry had for us, that Mr. Blank had for us. We just want to keep building, keep building off what we set this year in the foundation. And I mean, whatever happens, happens. But we know the group of guys that we had this year. But for this beautiful new year, 2023, my brothers, man, Actually, for great blessings this year, man. Actually, give a full quarter of the strength and speed. Everybody in the league is good. Um, all the teams are good. All the players are good. So you have to have that that one thing that's going to set you apart from everybody else. Atlanta lost by eight to the Ravens, which for Arthur Smith was the 21st time in 32 games that his team has played in a one-score game, Arch. Welcome to 2023, gentlemen. Well, to give you some perspective of the season, 13 of your games uh, are one-score games. That's how close this team is. Now, you got to get over the hump. There's no question about it. Let's not lie to ourselves. You have to win the games. But this is a really young football team. He wants to fake throw, and he's sacked. Isaiah Oliver hits the pocket. He'll make a play. I mean, there's so many guys that's doing some good things, man. And uh, I mean, it's just it just shouldn't go unseen. Now second and long, Ritter dumps it in the flat. Here's Patterson. He'll turn. Fornero inside the 40. That's helped our rookie class, knowing that we're going to have to come in here and help. We're, we're still on the building block of this whole thing for the vets to come in and, and help us and, and just make our trajectory keep on going up was, was really big. Having the nucleus of, yeah, we got some young guys, but we also had some veteran guys who come in here. Talking about a guy like Rashawn Edmonds comes in here and he led by example and probably brought a lot of the young guys along. Lorenzo Carter, another guy on those one-year deal who came in here and throughout the entire season, you could tell he gave everything he had. Getting guys who, on, on this team, to where maybe some other teams never even gave them the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? You see the young stars that we have. They're gonna hand to Algier. Tyler revs it up and scores on the carry. Tyler Algier will punch home his third rushing score of the year. Let's start with Tyler Algier. Tyler Algier is on the verge of potentially being the, the top rusher, rookie rusher in Falcon history. Handing to Algier, Tyler first down. Algier absolutely blasted one man. Big run, Tyler Algier, he's not Tyler done yet. Algier may have just walked his way into the Falcon record. If I'm an offensive lineman and I come off the ball, and, and I'm blocking a guy and I'm trying to slip to the next level and I'm trying to stay on my guy. And I've got a guy that's running with the kind of violence that Tyler Algier runs with. Congrats, brother. You're talking about Terry Fontenot and his staff finding diamonds in the back end of the draft. You may have found the best running back in the draft in 2022 in Tyler Algier. He's certainly running that way. Through 1,000. I think the young quarterback, we're getting a chance to see what he's all about. The moxie of putting him up the bat. Desmond at the five, flips it in zone. Caught! The touchdown maker, Michael Pruitt. The thing about, uh, I like about Des, man, is more than his play on the field, is just a presence about him. Find the way, man. Find the way. I know he's somebody that's going to work to try to reach his max, whatever that may be. Ritter launches, got a man, it's London, and a terrific grab by Drake London. It's a young, vibrant group. He's got them believing. Arthur Smith and the staff have them believing that this is their time. They've got a chance to really write their, their script in the National Football League. In this season with back-to-back -back wins, how important was it for you to finish this one on a high note? Yeah, very important. Like we said uh, last week, we want to go 2-0 in 2023. Um, and that's what we did. So, you know, we we're excited to come out here, finish up strong, get two home wins. Uh, we're excited to, uh, you know, go into the offseason. We have a lot to prove. We were this close in almost all the games, and it could have gone either way, you know? So I think just, just be ready for, for what's about to come. Uh, could you walk us through some of the processes of, you know, as we're into the offseason now, what's next? Now, as we wrap up the season, the first thing we do is, is we look in the mirror and we're going to look at every aspect of the program and assess every detail, take a deep dive and look at the things that went well, the things we want to continue to build on and where are the areas that, that we need to improve. Not just this game against the Buccaneers, but even going back the last few weeks, I mean, Ritter, Algier and London showed that they can end up being 
pillars of this franchise, and they did some really special things their rookie year. They're only going to get better. Come on in next year. Let's go to work. We had a plan in year one. We come into year two, a much different team, a much younger team, um, a different core on this team, and that's the nature of the business. There are going to be a lot of different players, and yet those players that were here, they were a part of setting that foundation. We worked hard. <laughs> no matter what situation, we all came in with a like mindset that we're going to go to work. And it didn't matter what's going on on the outside. When it comes to us, it's one of 11. And we're all going for it. Building that culture and everybody buying in and playing hard is really exciting to see. And um, I think we have a bright future, and I'm excited for that. When you hear about the culture that's being built down, we watch the way this team plays for 60 minutes. As I'm a free agent, that's attractive. You're going to be able to affect this roster big time, and now you get the money to do it. We had a plan from the very beginning, and now we're in the next phase of that. And this is going to be a different offseason than we had in the previous years. We do have a young core, but they have to take another step this offseason because we are going to continue to work hard to, to build this program. So. Um, so everyone has to look at this offseason as and take on that challenge, which I know they will because we have the right mindset. There's a lot of evolution that happens even with the coaching staff. It naturally be changes defensively, and a big part of that is the coordinator. You're not just going to add one player to a certain position and then all of a sudden the sack numbers go up. It, it's about improving the total team. I can see the vision for what they want to build, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes from my standpoint. All hands on deck. Everybody all in, or you got to get on. This time around next, next year, uh, the goal is definitely to be preparing for the playoffs. The direction that uh, we're going here in Atlanta is the right direction. I firmly believe it. Um, I've seen how hard the guys play, obviously up close, and it's something that I wanted to be a part of. You know, we're in the business of, of always improving our talent. You know, that's just what we do, you know, whether that be development. And it really doesn't matter how the players get here, whether it's a, a high draft pick, a, a, a undrafted free agent, you know, a, a free agent from another team. It's, you know, once we have them, they're ours. You know, and, and so it's our job to improve the guys that we have and the guys that we bring in and ultimately make it the best that we can in Atlanta. I think a whole different Drake is going to come out next season. There's a lot that's left on the table for me out there, uh, and I know it. So all I got to do is go out there and grab it. I'm, I'm excited for it. It's Drake London! Quick throw in the pen. Drake London Quick throw caught London at the five, and Drake London scores the Atlanta oh, touchdown. Intercepted. Richie Grant's got this one. Kyle Pitts caught it. Touchdown! Cordero Patterson out of the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta! Holy smoke! Down the sideline. Still going! Jalen Hawkins off the deflection. Oh my goodness, what a hit. And he is sad. He dragged out. He here shall not pass. He's been close. You know, close right there. But that's the difference, you know? In the NFL, all the games are so close. That's the difference that we got to make up. And we're going to do it, you know? Because we're going to use his pain that we got not making it this year when we know we could have, when nobody gave us a chance. And then when, when it go time, we're going to be ready. I see the want in everybody's eyes around here, you know, from top to bottom. And um, nobody going to want it more than me, though.